The Arcadia Deep Heat Projector, considered by many reptile keepers to be the premier source of heat for leopard geckos and other terrestrial reptiles, specifically lizards. So I was able to get my hands on one here in the US, and in today's video I'm going to be testing it out and setting it up with my leopard gecko Peyton. So what exactly is a DP projector, which I'll just be referring to as the DHP because saying DP projector a lot is a little bit exhausting. The DHP is a heating fixture that basically mimics the sun. It also makes no light, which is a major selling point for the DP projector because you can use it during the day and the night and it'll produce the same result for your leopard gecko or I guess whatever reptile you're using really. The DHP or deep heat projector is a lighting fixture or lamp that produces no light but produces heat that mimics the sun. So unlike a lot of the lamps such as ceramic heat emitters that don't produce any light, this one actually heats the tissue of your reptile instead of just the outer layers of the skin. As you can see in this chart, a ceramic heat emitter only penetrates the corneum and epidermis, or the thinnest two layers of the skin with heat. It will heat the reptile, but it won't be nearly as natural as the sun. On the other hand, deep heat projectors and incandescent lights penetrate the corneum, the epidermis, and granular layers of skin, and even the subcutaneous tissue of your gecko. This is very similar to the way that the sun heats reptiles. To simplify, heat from a DHP is more bioavailable or readily usable by a reptile than that from a heat mat or ceramic heat emitter. So now that we know exactly what a DP projector is, let's talk about how to use and control it. The DHP is a lot more specific and needs a lot more control than your standard heat mat, for example. So you can't just use one of the on-off thermostats that you can buy on Amazon for $30 for your DP projector. Instead, you're gonna have to use a dimming thermostat. Now, here I am using the Herbstat Easy One, which I won't talk about in a ton of detail because Spider Robotics actually stopped making it because it wasn't making them very much money, but the Herbstat line in general is a great line of thermostats. This is the only one that I have, but I've heard nothing but great things about the Herbstats. So basically what a dimming thermostat does is Instead of turning on and then turning off once it gets to the right temperature, it puts out more or less power and dims the lamp, or in this case, the DP projector, so that it stays at the right temperature instead of heating up to, say, 93 degrees and then turning off once it gets to 87 degrees so that it's going up and down. It's going to keep it at a more stable temperature, which is going to be better for your leopard gecko in general, or, I mean, whatever reptile you're using this for. So I guess I should talk about where you can get an Arcadia DP projector. In the UK, you can get it from pretty much any place that sells reptile supplies because Arcadia is a European company. But in the United States, you have to get it from just a few places that sell Arcadia lighting. So Pangea Reptile sells Arcadia lighting. Josh's Frogs does um, Light Your Reptiles. Does I have never shopped at Light Your Reptiles, so I can't recommend them. Um, or Reptile Basics does. That's where I always get my Arcadia supplies along with Pangea Reptile because they're both usually in stock and I like both of those places so definitely check there. I am super excited to test it out with my Leopard Gecko Peyton because she loves being active. She's a super active Leopard Gecko so I think that she will absolutely benefit from it. So now that we've gone over all of that, let's actually go and set it up. Alright, so I'm here with Peyton's enclosure in the new reptile room, which is pretty exciting. I don't know if this is exactly how I'm going to keep instead of- Oh, she is climbing out of her enclosure right now. Come here, Peyton. Say hello to the people. And she is covered in her substrate, which just shows that she's digging because leopard geckos love to dig and they love to climb. And I think that this will give her even more energy and opportunities to climb, which I'm super excited for. I want to provide her with everything possible. So, she's very adorable, and she's getting ready to shed here pretty soon, so that is pretty exciting. Oh, also, if you want Peyton on a shirt, you can head to shop.hunterhawk.com and check out this shirt. It's also linked right up there. Okay, 
So we are going to go in here, but first I'm going to show you all of our supplies that we're going to need. We're going to need the DP projector, obviously, that's the whole point of this video. We're going to need the, well, a basically a porcelain lamp, or a ceramic lamp. So I'm using the ZoomEd one. I tested it to make sure it worked in here. This is not my first time unboxing this stuff, as you can tell. So the DP projector will screw into here and then hang from above. And then the Herbstat Easy One, which comes with a 12 foot long temperature probe. Here's the little actual probe. And a power cord and then a thermometer to make sure that the thermostat is correct. And then of course I'll be checking it with the infrared thermometer every day. Maybe a couple times a day until I like for sure trust it and then just every day. So yeah, I think we have everything ready. So now we can go ahead and start setting this up, which is very exciting. So Peyton is right here. Cute little Peyton. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with her. I never know what I'm gonna do with her. She's a silly little thing. No, I'm just kidding, but I am going to take her out and put her in a little tub for now just so that she can hang out while we're doing this. Come on, Peyton. <laughs> Maybe. She's such a sweet gecko. I'll be right back. Okay, now that I have our little escape artist taken care of, we're going to start putting this together. So first, I guess I should get this in its dome. I'm going to try to do this on camera as much as possible, but we'll see how it turns out. <laughs> so here's what the inside of it looks like. You can see it's just a filament and it's covered with some sort of mesh. The words were escaping me for a minute, so I'm just going to carefully screw this in here real quick. Okay, so this, first of all, it plugs in right here, which I wish it plugged in on the side because then I could set it down, but I'm going to have to actually like attach it to the side of the enclosure which is not ideal but it's okay and then the dp projector well the dome plugs in right here okay and i'm gonna have it set um at like 91 or 92 and then i'll of course dial it in over time to see what peyton really enjoys the best because heat from this is going to be different than heat from a heat map and then the thermometer probe is going to go in through this corner. You basically want the thermostat on whatever is going to get the hottest. So this hide is where the thermostat is going to go. I'm going to have to move her Arcadia Shade Dweller UVB a little further back so that her heat can be here in the front. So I'm going to do that off camera and we'll be right back. Okay, so it has been moved back so now it's all good and it's going to have room for the actual heat to hang right here. And the thermostat probe off camera, I went ahead and taped it down and I had to just use clear tape right now because I'm out of aluminum tape and it says to tape on the cord not on the actual probe because then that causes it to have false readings. So you want to actually tape the cord so that it can't move around, but you don't want to actually have anything covering the actual probe unless it's like your gecko sitting on top of it, but that wouldn't be very comfy. So most likely your gecko is going to sit either right here or right here. And you want to put the probe on top of the hide and not below the hide because you want it to be on the hottest part. So say Peyton wants to be like warmer she can come and sit on top of the hide and say she wants to be cooler she can go right here or inside of the hide and there's also this piece of slate right here so that it can heat up as well but it won't get quite as warm but that's okay because it's going to be retaining more heat so that way she has a gradient of heat that she can kind of get however warm or however cool she wants to be Okay, so the DP projector and dome are finally hung right up there from the ceiling. So it's attached here and also attached over here just in case one of the points breaks just for extra security. And I have the thermostat thermometer probe and an extra thermometer probe that is for a thermometer that you can't see on the screen right now. But anyways, they are both taped right here just so that I can get two accurate readings just for safety. 
and my battery is about to die, so I'll be right back. Okay, I replaced my camera battery, so we are good to go on that front, which is quite exciting. So now all I have to do is set the temperature where I want it, because I accidentally moved it a little bit. Plug in this, and you can see it's a little dusty. That just shows how long I have been waiting to put together this video. And then, over here off camera, I am going to plug the DP projector in right here, and this into, like this, into an actual outlet, and then it will be good to go, and yeah. Okay, and now the snake, which I don't think it's very cool that they did that, but I mean it, whatever, the snake's eyes are green and red, and I need to set the... Ooh, autofocus, come on. I need to set it to closer in there. It beeps when you're changing the temperature, huh? Cool, okay, so it is all plugged in and powering up. Okay, that just means it recorded the new temperature. Now let's see what it means when one eye is, or when those eyes are at that color. The LEDs are solid red, which just means that it's less than one degree below the temperature, and that is right. It takes about 30 minutes to power on to the right temperature. That way it does it slowly over time instead of overloading your deep heat projector. And then it was time for Peyton to try out her new deep heat projector. I put her in there and she didn't try it out at first, but it's been a few days and she is using it now. I'll make a review in a few weeks once I've had a couple of weeks to make an opinion on it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you next time.